when it comes to all the things that I'm a fan of, I am not the type of person that's going to get on my channel here and start bad mouthing another YouTuber or more people that disagree with me who say all these negative things and I disagree with them or what have you because that's just not who I am. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. I mean, at the end of all my videos, I say, and let's work for a better fandom. I mean, you see that at the bottom of my intro card. And I really do believe in trying to all get along, that we should all be able to enjoy our fandoms, that we should be able to just, you know, if somebody doesn't like something, okay. Not everybody's gonna like any everything. With that being said, I'm not going to point fingers or anything, but there was something I saw earlier today that just, I, I just was like, what? There was a video I saw about Power Ranger morphs. One of the things that as Power Ranger fans, we all love, we cannot wait, or at least I know I can't wait to see that first reveal. What's the morphing sequence going to look like this year? For me, honestly, that's the second thing. The first thing is, what's the theme song? What does the theme song sound like? I love, because, yeah, I love theme songs. But I, I don't, I, I don't really know what I consider to be a really good morph. I just want it to be cool and unique, you know? I want to have fun with it. Well, this video that I saw was talking about morphs and talking about how Hasbro just doesn't get it. They don't understand how to do a good morph. And that they seem to just throw everything at the at the screen and be like, let's just, here, this looks cool, this looks cool. It's another one of these things about people saying, oh, Hasbro's trying to ruin the brand. Which they're not. They are not. I, I, yeah, I agree when people say they're not trying to ruin the brand. Because, yeah, they're not. It's making them money. So, this person came up with all these things about this is what makes a good morph. Whether it's how quick it is, does it relate to the theme of the season. Um, I, I, those are the, the two main things I remember. Does it fit the theme? How long it is? Is it quick? Is it too short? You know, and... Again, I can't remember everything, but those are the things that stuck in my head because I just started thinking, I'm like, yeah, but all the points you're making, basically every morph has a problem and contradicts what you're saying. Now, some are better than others and some do a really good job. Like one of the ones that was mentioned, and I agree with this, Dino Thunder did a real good job. That was a good morph related to the theme. It looked good. Oh, they were talked about the uh, call too. The call being important, which yeah, as fans, for us it is. Is it one that we'll remember? Is it one that we'll like to say? And they also brought up SPD compared to uh, Deccan Ranger, the Super Sentai. And looking at it, yeah, that one works too. That one has a theme. But for me, I was, was like, eh, it's okay. But I really, the reason I wanted to make this video is because it's just been bothering me. Now, they're entitled to their own opinion. I want to emphasize that. Everyone and this person's entitled to their opinion. But I just want to say, I think most of the morphs are good. And I honestly, I enjoy, I like the Hasbro ones. I really like Cosmic Furies. I mean, I really like seeing them. I like Dino Theories too. I think it's cool seeing the costume form over them as if they're in the morphing grid. Now, granted, yes. The whole Dino Fury key. Activate. Does it take a long time? Yes. But let's look at that real quick. There's a ton of other morphs that have done the same thing and have been longer. Prime examples. Dino Charge. Dino Charge was... It's morphin' time. Dino Charge. Dino Charger. Activate. Oh, no. 
uh, of course now <laughs> I'm trying to record this and my mind totally blanks. But it was, it's more of a time. Dino Charger, activate. You know, they held out the gem. Boom, activate. Opened up, did this little spin, opened up the morpher, the gun, tied it in, kind of did a little sight dance, kind of like uh, they did in Super Sentai, fired it off, comes around, goes over, chomps, close them. There's a costume. Yeah, that's long. <laughs> I mean, that almost feels longer than the Dino chart, than the, I'm sorry, Dino Fury one. Ninja Steel, same thing. It's more from time. Power Star, lock in. Ninja, spin. Like, this has become something that's like, oh, it's a new thing. Morphs are taking too long. No, it's not. That's been something since the beginning of Power Rangers that fans have always made jokes about. Like, why don't the villains just attack? They're like waiting for them to morph. And they did actually make fun of that in Dino Fury at times. And I mean, we do see monsters actually attack them as a group when they're morphing. And for me, as a kid, I was just like, okay, whatever. But when I really start thinking about it, it's like, you know, maybe it's the morphing grid. When they start to morph, everything just kind of, there's like a force field that is created around them as they're morphing to help prevent attacks from getting through. It's the same thing that we saw in Beast Morphers with the Megazord transformation. When things are done right, it's like a force field that protects the Megazord as it comes together. You you want to talk about slow morphs. You mentioned the Beast Morphers one, which I will still say it's called Beast Morphers. So the fact that they focused on the beast element, it makes sense. Maybe it doesn't make sense for where it came from in Japan, but it makes sense. Oh, there's a... Okay, so a cyclone. Beast comes out, costume, spin out, and forms the goggles, comes in. Oh, that took that took 30 seconds, or that took a minute to do. Bad guy could have tacked. They probably... It probably was just slowed down for us to see. Like, if that really happened, it probably would happen like that. They're slowing it down for us to see. That's the way I've always looked at it. And... Like, I just feel like if you have a problem with things like that, there's a problem with basically every morph. And I'm going to use one that many fans, we all, those of us that have been with Power Rangers for 30 years, grew up with. And that's the main, sorry, wrong way, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers morph. Who among us doesn't know this? It's Morphin time! Trinosaurus! Okay, so let's look at that. It's really, really short, and there's nothing to do with the theme. I mean, they're morphing, yes. There's no dinosaur anywhere in the Mighty Morphin title. And literally, it's them saying it, and the last one is Jason, or Rocky, whoever's the Red Ranger, whatever season you're watching, the mask going over his face. That's it. <laughs> Explain to me how that has to do with the theme. Even a dino theme. How does the actual morph have anything to do with a dino theme? Now, don't take that the wrong way. I love that morph. It's a classic. But I mean, let's let's move on to some other ones. Zeo. What exactly was Zeo? Was it mythical creatures? Was it magic? Because, again... Morph doesn't really have anything to do with this stuff. And I mean, they say Zeo Ranger 1, pink. How does that have anything to do with something called Zeo? I mean, I get it's a Zeo crystal. And again, I love all these morphs. And I'm, I'm just, I'm nitpicking to try and make a point. Oh. Then we have Turbo. Shift into Turbo. Does the whole car thing. You know, in... You can't tell me. That that thing takes forever to do. Come on. Space. The space morph, again, has nothing to do with space that I can tell. It's based on Mega Ranger, which was a game. It was a computer system coming and forming the costume. 
so how how does their morph going to five five four whatever the code was how does that have anything to do with space you can't tell me that doesn't take up time for the bad guy to stand there and blast you lost galaxy yeah that yeah that worked i mean they were the galactic beasts and that that could work but again it's still kind of stretching if you're being if you're do one if you're looking at one thing in one way you gotta be across the board light seed rescue uh yeah shield forming the costume i guess but safety um time force they're from the future dna that works i mean wild force i i thought that one works really well um I got. I gotta stop. I'm not. I don't want to waste too much more time going over every single one, but you really need to look at them, because I think they all have problems. If you're looking at whether it's the theme, whether it's the call, whether it's how long one takes, it, it just. It's just one of these things with Power Rangers that's absurd. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like some better than others. Maybe I'll do a uh, top 10 favorite morphs at some point here, among many other videos I'm trying to do. But it also comes down to how memorable are they? You know, are they cool looking? Which I think Dino Fury is cool looking. Even Cosmic Fury, I think, looks cool. And when people argue they take too long, like I said, A... It's a show. B, maybe there's a force field that's created when you morph. Or C, maybe the bad guys are just too stupid that they don't attack. Because, let's be honest, we've had a lot of really stupid henchmen in Power Rangers. But that's what makes it fun. So, hopefully I've gotten my point across with this. Again, this is not a video I would typically do. But it's been something in the past couple hours since I saw that video that have been on my mind and I just wanted to put my two cents in now if you're asking why did you watch it if you didn't think you'd agree with it I watched it because I wanted to try and see somebody else's point of view and I got some of the things he was saying or this person was saying but it just didn't make sense it's probably as a buddy of mine said probably for the hate views probably just doesn't like Hasbro changing things. I mean, he compared so many things to Super, Sent to Super Sentai. Probably just is one of those people. But anyway, those are my thoughts on the morphing sequences, why I think that they are generally the same type of thing, just different looks, different calls, why I think, you know, things we as fans joke about actually work. But I want to know your thoughts. So go ahead, comment down below. Am I totally wrong? Am I just... Do I not know what I'm talking about and Hunts Bro totally sucks? Let me know. But be nice in the comments. That is something... You know, I respect people's opinions. But let's, let's be nice to each other here. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. There's a lot more Power Ranger stuff coming this year. I'll admit, hopefully. And to all fandoms, all fans of anything nerdy or just movies, television out there, as I always say, remember, read what you love, enjoy what you love. And let's work for a better fandom. And in the case of Power Rangers... May the power protect you.